textiles and design. Do I have to study a subject in year 9 and 10 to do this? No. The year 11 course enables students to develop an appreciation of textiles and design of society. It develops creativity with textiles and understanding of design, manufacture and the applications of textiles. Students develop a knowledge of fibre yarns and fibre properties and understand the importance of these to its end use applications. It involves a component of practical work and requires access to the sewing machine. Whilst not mandatory, it is highly advisable to have basic skills in textiles construction. So is this subject category A? Yes, it is. So textiles and design will go towards your ATAR. In year 12, you have to complete a major textiles project and it's worth 50% of your HSE assessment mark. You have three terms to complete it. You have to design and create a textile item as well as a design portfolio. They are worth just as much as each other, so they're worth just as important as each other. As 50% of your HSE mark is already completed when you hand in the major textile project, your HSE exam then only goes for 1 point hour, 1.5 hours and is only worth 50% of your HSE grade mark. So what is in the core structure? So in year 11, it's 120 hours, we start off with design and we look at the elements and principles of design. And for each element and principle, we actually do a sewing or surface decoration technique to learn how to do that in a textile item. We then look at properties and performance of textiles. So that means we actually look at the weave and how the fabric is woven. We look at the uh, how the fabric is made up and we do fabric testing so we do burning tests drape tests etc the last topic in year 11 is the Australian textile and clothing footwear and allied industry where we actually look at what it takes to be a textiles business in Australia and what businesses are out there in year 12 we look at design and properties performance of textiles again with a focus of your actual assignment as well with design we look at contemporary designs and also cultural designs and historical designs we also look at the Australian textile industry again um, and then 50 percent of your time in school is also spent on your major textile project so if you can see this is breaks the course down more in depth with exactly that we are going to study the elements of principal design types of design fabric yarn and fiber in year 11 there's two projects that you have to complete the textile project one and textile project two um, and with that it's the big giant portfolio for year 12 it's split into two so you learn what the expectation is for year 12 but in two um, projects in year 12 we do a bit more of fabric coloration and surface decorations we look at historical clothes and then we look at clothes from different countries and then we look at new technology and, and news applications for them so your career opportunities you see this is the career will for textiles and design it starts off very beginning with level one so level the ones at the walk-in job without qualifications so your dry cleaners embroiderer laundry worker level two is where you need a certificate level okay so you could work at level the goods clothing pattern maker juror upholsterer we then have level three what is more of your diploma level like an interior design and then level four is your bachelor level where you need a bachelor so as you can see there is many jobs and career opportunities from the starting point of textiles so if any questions at all with textiles please talk to mrs hinks at school i'm happy to answer any questions thank you tim